Hey you mob, today we're going to be making a lazy green curry and I'm going to show you a little tour of my new house. This is a really simple recipe for a Sunday evening or a quiet night in. It's very simple to make and there's also a lot of room for you to make this your own, adding your own ingredients or making changes. I start off by cutting up two zucchinis. Broccoli is also a great vegetable to add but for the base I'm using zucchinis. It adds a beautiful fresh taste to the dish and I feel like it's just one of those ingredients that can fit into a lot of meals. Then we'll chop up two punnets of cherry tomatoes. Wait till you see the beautiful color of this curry when we add this in. I'm gonna add a chili, totally up to you in terms of how much you wanna add or what type of chili you wanna use. Then we'll cut up three chicken breasts into small cubes. Chicken thigh also works. Again, it's just what you feel like. I'm making enough to last me a few days for the work week. This is my little kitchen. I've only been here for a couple of months with lots of work trips in the way too. I'm still setting up the house, but this kitchen island makes cooking so much easier. And welcome to a part of my house, the living area. It's not much, but it's coming along nicely. I'm currently going through a phase of loving darts. My board is dodgily set up on three stools. I've actually got a builder who's making me a proper stand at the moment, and I'm very keen for it to arrive. This setup works for now. Trying to furnish a house in the city is so much harder than back out bush. I feel like back home I could just borrow a friend's ute and just go pick things up. Whereas in the city it's not as simple unfortunately. But it's been a nice process starting from scratch. The story behind this poster is pretty achievement based actually. I recently did my first hip hop performance for a 26th of January indigenous event. Sharing the same stage as artists like Kobe D, Barker, Nookie. And these posters were set up all around Sydney promoting the event. I make music under the name Tom Foolery, so that was quite exciting as an artist. Radio, I reckon let's get back into this feed. We'll get the pan on and get that nice and hot. The base of this curry in terms of flavour is just a green curry paste from the shops. And I'm going to use a whole jar as I've got so much ingredients. We just want to fry that curry paste off for a couple of minutes until fragrant. My pan was probably a little bit too hot, got curry paste all over the wall, but the job's getting done. Then we'll add in a can of coconut milk and we want to give that a good stir through to combine the two ingredients. I then add the chicken and chili in. Now before you have a crack about not frying off the chicken first, do whatever you feel like. Frying off the chicken first is a great option, but you can also cook the chicken in the curry paste and coconut milk. It's almost marinating as it cooks. Plus, this is a lazy green curry. Lid comes off, chicken is cooked, and it's already smelling incredible. Give that another mix and let's add in our vegetables. Zucchinis in first, and then we'll add the tomatoes. The color looks great and the lid goes back on. Okay, this is absolutely terrible, I know, but I'm using microwave rice. It's late on a Sunday evening. I don't have a rice cooker. I don't recommend microwave rice if you can just cook it, but it's a terribly lazy option that does work fine for something like this. And just look at the color of that. The aroma is fantastic that's coming out of this pan. It's sizzling away and almost done. Always important to give it a taste test. I'm adding in the second can of coconut milk just to dilute that overpowering curry paste as I use the whole jar. We'll give that another mix and dish out that rice into the containers. I probably needed a bit more rice, but it's doing the job. Another taste test just to finalize it all. It's tasting brilliant, but just needs a bit of salt and another stir. Heat goes off and we're ready to dish this thing up. Clean some of those dishes to save the hassle after eating and we'll get that curry into our containers. I really like meal prepping, honestly saves myself a lot of time during the week, not having to worry about dinner every evening. Plus I'm a bloke completely fine with just eating the same feed for a couple of nights. I ended up only opting for the four containers as I was quite hungry and wanted a big dinner that night. We'll put those four nights worth in the fridge and that's all sorted. Dish myself up a big bowl, absolutely starving, give the bench a wipe down and well, would you look at that? That's a good feed. This meal is so simple, can feed a big mob of people and just something you can pretty much chuck in a big pot and cook away. I put on the telly, watched my friend Mad Raptor from Western Australia. I was just checking out one of his latest vlogs and enjoyed the feed. Even went back for seconds. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and let me know if there's any meals you'd like me to make in the future. Have a great day. Thanks you mob.